Maya didn't count. The email said somebody from Harmony would die in Rome. What if it's Ethan? Well, Ethan's dying? No. Maybe. Chad. <sighs> okay. Which is it? <laughs> Listen, honey. Teresa's just remembering an email she got on the flight here from Harmony. And it said that she would get Ethan, but lose her love, and that someone from Harmony would die here in Rome. Now, never mind the fact that Maya's already dead, and there's over a dozen of us here in Rome for death to choose from. She's convinced Ethan is the one who's doomed. Chuck, can I, can I borrow your cell phone, please? I just, I just want to warn him. That's Honey. All. Thank yeah. you. He's okay. He's, you know, just enjoying alone time with Gwen, you know, so. Well, they are married, you know, so. Yeah. And he's never gonna leave her for me, right? That's what we've all been trying to tell you, Teresa. It's really hopeless. Ethan and I are never gonna be together. Ever. Are you sure you're okay about Ethan? Yes. Dad, you okay? Yeah, Whitney and I, we need to get to the Vatican. We've got a conference call with the Mother Superior from the convent in Harmony. Yeah, I'm going to tell her that I'm not going to take my final vows to become a nun now. That's <laughs> wonderful. Congratulations. <laughs> and the Pope's assistant's going to help us explain the whole situation. But you know what? I just think we should make the call later. Teresa needs me right now, you know? No, I'm fine. Please. That is a, that phone call that's way, way too important. Wait, wait. Okay. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I'm totally sure. Really. I, I actually, I, I need to go for a walk anyway. Figure out where I'm going to go from here without Ethan, you know? Teresa, honey, I realize how huge that is for you to finally accept that. You sure you don't need me for moral support? Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally sure. Look, you gotta go. You gotta celebrate your love with Chad. This is the start of a new life together. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thanks. We'll see you. Bye. Well, I'm glad the conference call with Mother Superior went so well. And I'm glad she wished us every happiness. Even after my time at the convent caused such an upheaval. <laughs> hey, hey. It wasn't your fault, okay? It was Alistair's. That's right. I'm just gonna put all that behind me. But you and I, mm -hmm. <laughs> we can have a wonderful life together with our son. Yeah. Yeah, you know, part of me can't believe things worked out for the three of us to be together. I mean, there was a time when I let myself think differently. Well, I'm glad you were wrong. <laughs> I'm sure Miles is too. Can you forgive me? I just want to go back in one more time and give thanks again for our happiness. Is that OK? Yeah, I know. Be my guest. I've got a phone call to make to Harmony anyway. Uh, business. OK. OK. Mm -hmm. See you later. Hey, it's me. Did I wake you? <laughs> now I was thinking about you too. Look, that's why I called. I wanted to tell you that I'm getting married. No, I um, no, I didn't plan on it either. Okay, just a lot's happened since I've been in Rome. No, just, just relax, okay? It's not gonna affect us. We can see each other whenever we want. No, I mean it, okay? Nothing is gonna stop me from spending time with you. 